my Little Alls Chalmers tractor and my bifold wheel rake. And after I cut the hay, it lays in the field flat, like what you see down here on the ground. There's a little bit of unraked area. And uh, bring this hay rake out in the field. You take these rows that were cut, and that rake flips the rows over so that the, uh, the underside of the grass is now exposed to the sun so that that dries. And it also merges it up into a row that's small enough that the hay baler can pick it up. And this is what we call a windrow. So I rake it for to help the underside of the row dry. So you just flip it over and also merged it together so that you come in here later this afternoon with a hay baler, it'll pick it up and bale it. And what I'm doing here is that now I rake when there's a little bit of dew on the ground so that right here the leaves of the alfalfa and the grasses don't all fall off. They get too dry and brittle. And as you move them, you lose all that leaf and you can lose you know, easily 20, 30% of your biomass uh, that you're trying to get into a bale. So right now, then I have to wait for a couple hours for it to dry. There's still a little bit of drying, still waiting for the dew, last night's dew to come off. And it's all gonna depend on if we get enough sun today. Forecast kinda of changed a little bit, so you got three cloudy skies. Number one thing on drying hay is the amount of sunlight and the humidity. So we're forecasted at pretty low relative humidity. We want to be usually below 50%. Anything 55 or greater percent, that's a real hot muggy day, high dew point, can't be hay So if everything goes right, I'll be here this afternoon bailing hay. bailing today? Yeah, it was just square bail, but the weather forecast kind of closed in on me to say we might have sprinkled. As it was, we got a little bit of rain already. These sprinkles didn't shut down, but I didn't have time to square bail. I nice think the round baler, you cover a lot of ground really quick. And uh, I was able to bail really fast. And we got to get it done. 